hi there welcome to my channel and i'm just going to show you this before i actually go into the main video i'm going to show you this which is the proscan automotive uh, obd code reader so you can see over there it's got the um little obd ports uh which plug into the 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 port under the steering wheel so this is what you require for the codes to be read uh and also for the live data to be read on your android or your apple uh head unit uh, you can also of course link to, via via bluetooth to your phone as well and just use the phone holder so i'll be talking about that in the video which is just following uh, and the important reason for this is because to have one of these is because not all of the uh, the code readers in the uk uh, pick up the japanese uh, uh, fault codes and in fact most of them don't so if you're looking for an easy life then you want to be carrying one of these around yes you can buy the handheld ones where you just plug in when and when required but this thing's always there and it's very discreet very small you'll not notice it so let's start with the, the main video hi there and welcome to my channel today i'm going to be talking about torque which is a an app you can download from the internet and incorporate into either your mobile phone or your head unit as i've done over here and a, what it does it gives you real-time information on your vehicle so that means that you can uh, diagnose uh, problems which uh, from data real data which is stored in the actual uh, head unit uh, memory or on your phone memory so basic stuff you can do is you can see the revs over there you can see the speed if you ever need that uh, coolant temperature and you can have it in various different types of uh, dial uh, all together you can see me opening up the throttle in the middle section as I rev through you can see the vacuum uh, lines boosting as well okay now over here you've got acceleration again revs and it's slightly easier to read format and it's just to show the different um, different uh, configurations you can use over here you can see not you not all the data is uh, can be can be shown to be certain parameters which will not uh, show so here I've got the transmission temperature that's a useful one to have especially if you're towing um, heavy things along as well as the coolant uh, we've got the air temperature of the, the intakes and uh, we've got 0 to 60 there which uh, if you flow the car and go to 60 it will, it will time it for you um, over here I've got the fuel trims now you see my LF my long-term fuel trim and uh, one and bank one and long-term fuel trim and bank two are at zero uh, which would be an ideal situation however this bat this car's had its battery uh, taken out reconnected so that may not be exactly telling the truth so the it, it hasn't really got any long-term fuel uh, trims uh, recorded but look at the short-term fuel trims you can see that they're a little bit erratic and it's putting a lot of fuel in there so the the the, the MAF sensor uh, and the fuel trims need to learn um, uh, from my driving and, and adjust before we can get a proper reading from that. Uh, there is a problem with the car, which is uh, we do we have identified a, a small leak in uh, one of the valves, uh, and that's going to get sorted a little bit later. Okay, so you can see how this all works. You get there's a number of different ways you can add to the screen. So let's just uh, pull up a screen. We we'll hold it down and you can add a display and you can then choose your display you've got a, a number of different displays i'm going for digital again and these are all the stuff in greens that you can actually incorporate so it's got everything that you could possibly want in here as i said the ones which are just in white not in green are the ones that you actually don't have and then we're back onto the greens with the average speed And you can uh, the one good thing is is you can actually add your own parameters of your vehicle onto this so you've got the vehicle weight you've got the fuel uh, costs um, you've got a number of different things you can put in into this engine coolant temperature engine load engine rpm which you've already seen and then all the fuel rates uh, which is useful if again you're you're trying to work out uh, how to make your vehicle more efficient uh, there's the fuel trims in there. It also has, of course, the auction sensors, which will be coming up later. Fuel use, GPS, ac accuracy, bearings, 
latitudes etc it's all their gps satellites everything's there intake air temperatures kilometers per liters kilometers per liters so this is the fuel uh, the fuel uh, saving ones and and then we go on to the oxygen sensor which is coming so oxygen volts and bank one again useful to see if your if your uh, oxygen uh, sensors are responding quickly enough because they may be working but they may not be responding quickly enough uh, so you can see that with the with when you rev the car if they're picking up on the revs there we go and transmission temperatures discuss that trip averages so there's quite a lot of uh, parameters here that you can actually utilize uh, all together and I think that's it um, so as I said this is a, a really useful piece of kit um, it won't work on the original head unit so you do need to have an Android uh, or an Apple Play I'm pretty sure Apple uh, will also have uh, yeah will also have uh, facilities for the the talk to actually go onto it uh, if you don't want to put it onto the onto the head unit you can actually utilize it onto your phone so you can just get one of these um, what do you call these little automatic uh, holders and just clamp it on there and just let it play from there okay and I hope you've enjoyed that video on the uh, the Elm 327 uh, OBD code reader these you can get from eBay they're about six pounds or seven pounds as I said just plug in there uh, and if you get the one with Bluetooth and your head unit has Bluetooth you can just connect it up it should be fairly straightforward there's another video on this uh, on how to connect it up uh, in this uh, in this channel so you can have a look through that as well it's fairly straightforward take care bye oh and do subscribe